Hey guys, um, welcome to a very special video today. Um, after years of collecting, I finally, finally um, decided to jump the gun and uh, get myself a Michael Myers mask. Um, I've already owned uh, a Silicone Freddy from Dark Ride Studios and a uh, Part 3, uh, actually Part 4, uh, Jason from Studio 135 silicone mask with a very cool Crash Creations Hawk. I have a life-size Predator in there too, plus a bunch of other stuff. Uh, there's a man with no name costume. But I never really had a Michael Myers costume uh, going. But after today, things will change because I got a very cool package from Greece. So uh, let's crack this puppy open and, and see what's in there. Um, it's going to be very nice. So, um, what's actually in the box? Well, uh, it's a uh, Nag uh, Castle uh, 75K uh, Special Edition produced by the uh, very, very, very talented uh, Greek sculptor uh, Nik Nikos Dresios. Uh, I hope I pronounced that accurately. Um, but to me, at least, this has always kind of been the standout uh, Halloween mon one mask um, and... For years, I'd been debating getting it, uh, and I'm actually super excited because it finally showed up on my doorstep today. I'm cracking open the box as I as I speak to you guys. Um, but uh, the turnaround time of the mask was really quick. Uh, Nikos basically uh, got the mask finished over the course of four or so weeks um, and sent it immediately after. It only took about a week and a half to get to me uh, from Greece, located in the States. Uh, so it was really a pretty quick process. Um, I know sometimes people end up waiting for masks. It can take much longer than that, uh, especially if you're getting yours retooled or overhauled. But from Nikos directly, it was very, very quick. So let's see what's in here. Uh, I'm super, super, super excited. Oh, wow gonna be beautiful so good god this is an amazing amazing piece of work look at that really really uh, incredible sculpt beautiful uh, paint application uh, I think Nikos did an amazing job on the hair as well I need to play with it because obviously it's been sitting in a plastic bag um, but he went for, per my request, uh, the original sort of Kirk hair, which he then um, like streaked with, with a darker paint, just like they did uh, for the original Halloween film, uh, to make it look darker, uh, more brownish. Um, but wow, what, what an awesome piece. The paint up's really nice. I requested a little bit more uh, shading and flesh tone. Uh, just because I wanted it to, to kind of hold up during natural light um, and in, in bright lighting as opposed to just in the dark. Um, so it kind of just looks more like it did on screen under different lighting circumstances, not just dark lighting, which I know is not necessarily movie accurate, uh, but I do really like the way that looks. But wow, what an, what an amazing, amazing mask. Uh, Nikos, thank you so much. Finally, uh, I have my sort of unholy trinity complete. I can proudly put my mic uh, in between Uncle Freddy and, and Jason up there. Um, so, let me futz around with this hair for a little bit. And I'm going to try and uh, put it on with my currently pretty crappy uh, coveralls. Uh, but I want to see what this looks like when you actually wear this thing. Because that is... The primary motivation that I got this. Uh, be nice to, to wear this to um, the new Halloween premiere, um, the 2018 film, which is coming out October 19th. So, take one last glance at it, um, just not worn, and I'm going to put this baby on and see what it looks like. 